I didn't know if he was a dog at first because all I saw were the ears. So tiny. I felt her rescued. This tiny little shaking creature on the road. I actually was taking a load of dogs into the vet and I saw his little face come out of one of the rooms. The first day home, I knew he was very scared. So I turned my sweatshirt around so my hood was in the front because I was just trying to keep him close and warm. It seemed he was most comfortable on the couch. So I grabbed a beanie and put him inside of that. And that was where he stayed. I didn't know if he would ever actually open all the way up. It wasn't until day two that he actually perked his head up. He was like, oh, okay, there's a dog in there. Once he realized this is a safe place, he then just decided to trust us at one moment. He was just so thankful for his sock outfit. Should we cut ear holes on that? I just cut two little holes in the side and it fit him like a glove. My friend Brooke saw my social media post about him and said, I need to meet him. I saw a DJ and I just was hit with this feeling like I knew that dog before, which is so funny because I'm not a dog person. I went over and I met him and I just started crying. I was like, he was supposed to be in my life and I know it. <laughs> the best buddy. <laughs> in the beginning, he was very fast to trust me. He was not so fast to trust the world around him. We did a lot of work to get him through that. I purchased a pouch so that he was strapped to me at all times and I just started taking him places. Hi, look at your harness. Hi, Deej. Hi, baby. DJ had been sitting in his bed for the first time and the bunny hopped right over being like, let's be friends now. And then I saw a DJ for the first time ever go follow someone that was not me. He was so trusting. You guys playing? DJ, is that bunny playing with you? <laughs> been really exciting to watch them bond because they don't speak the same language. Now he's a different dog. He's excited for other people to give him love and attention. He's been playing with other dogs. We just needed to give him a way to experience the world without being immersed in it. And now he wants to be immersed in it. We just went to the vet and he's five pounds. I was like, okay, you gotta get out of socks. Now he actually fits in toy dog clothes. That was very exciting for me. Did mommy get you a sweater? He's the sweetest dog I've ever met in my entire life. He fills all my quiet spaces. It's been really awesome to see him blossom. Hi, baby. Wait a sweet boy.